Hello, welcome to this episode from Walk Africa Fun Facts channel, where the Somali green energy migration outlook is surveyed. Be sure to subscribe free of charge today for more like content. Since the fall of Somalia's central government in 1991, electricity service has solely been a role of the dynamic Somali private sector. The current installed generation capacity is approximately 106 MW, while most power companies rely on diesel generators for electricity generation. Interest and investment is growing in hybrid systems that draw on solar and wind energy resources. According to a recent study by the African Development Bank, Somalia has the highest resource potential of any African nation for onshore wind power and could generate between 30,000 to 45,000 MW. Solar power could potentially generate an excess of 2,000 kWh per meter squared. Only an estimated 16% of the population has access to electricity. Somalia has higher tariffs compared to neighboring countries Kenya and Ethiopia. Somalia also lacks a national power grid and relies on imported fuel, wood and charcoal to address its energy needs. But energy experts say with the longest coastline in mainland Africa and an average of 10 hours of sunshine per day, Somalia has great potential for onshore wind and solar power. Somalia's private power companies rely on imported diesel to meet demand, making Mogadishu power cost more than three times the price of the global average. But they hope to transition to renewable energy, and the reins are being largely steered by the private sector. Some pioneering front lines say the challenge for the sector is that solar power is relatively new and there is lack of investment, despite the human skills and the technology being readily available, especially to tap into onshore and hydropower to make use of these abundant resources. To help jumpstart renewables, a group of private companies this year formed the Somalia Green Energy Association, or Sagia Bashir Souf, the founder of clean energy company Dalson Power and Sagia's chairman says the group faces various obstacles such as lack of incentives and investments from both the government and international community. But he says if the necessary investment and funding is obtained, particularly if banks can open their doors to support the renewable energy sector, then Somalia can become a hub for renewable energy and rise economically. Somalia's Ministry of Planning, Investment and Economic Development says it is pushing renewable energy. Mohamed Dubo, the director of the Somalia Investment Promotion Office, the office tasked with efforts to implement renewable energy, says Somalia is endowed with vast natural resources. Among the renewable energy sources are wind and solar energy. Dubo says Somalia's wind speeds are quite high, even the fastest in the world, and these can generate substantial amounts of electricity. Similarly, he says, the country has extended periods of sunshine, and, therefore, the potential to even sell power to its neighbors. A 2018 African Development Bank study found that Somalia has the highest potential of any African nation for onshore wind power if it can harness it. Samatar Mohammed, an economics lecturer at Mogadishu University, agrees. He thinks the country just hasn't been able to unleash its full potential. He says if Somalia is able to take advantage of its abundant renewable energy potential, the price of a kilowatt hour would not be as expensive as it is now at almost one US dollar. This is in comparison with Kenya's 0.2 dollars, Uganda's 0.1 dollars, just to mention some close neighbors. The utility rate would be cheap, and everyone would be able to afford electricity, he added. The energy ecosystem in war-torn Somalia is thus seen to be in dire straits. Diesel generators are the country's biggest power source. Electricity, which is largely non-existent, is prohibitively expensive. Nearly everyone cooks with firewood, charcoal and even animal dung, which cause harmful indoor air pollution. Charcoal is becoming scarcer. The dirty fuel is a prized export commodity that is helping to prop up the Islamist militant group, Al-Shabaab, in the country's civil war. Venturing into the energy sector is crucial for Somalia's current and future industries. The citizenry would feel relieved to enjoy clean energy with less conflicts and constraints. 
as the world moves to clean energy, Somalia's energy industry hopes to move with it and find its place under the sun. Thanks so much for watching this video. Please subscribe for more like content.